All right, guys, so as you can see, I am celebrating 29 years of life here on Earth, and I think the heavens above. So, guys, I got a phenomenal gift for my birthday, and that gift is such a unique gift, such a rare gift. Not everybody gets these kind of gifts on their birthday, so I want to share it with you all. Let's get to it. As y'all know, a couple about a year or so ago, a couple years ago, here on my channel, I uploaded a YouTube video that was titled Kicking Open My Ancestry with a Mukbang. Okay. Well, if y'all remember in that video, clearly it was a mukbang, so I was eating. Y'all know I'm a foodie, I love to eat. But nevertheless, as y'all uh no, in that video, I was very excited. I was thrilled. I had always wanted to do Ancestry.com and find out, you know, my African heritage, where my ancestors came from in Africa, and, and also in other places in the world. You know, growing up, I had been told so many different things that far as, what we were in my family but I was like finally this is the time that I could go take this ancestry test send them my DNA my saliva samples my DNA and find out the truth you know when you hear so much you really just kind of want the truth to come out okay so the truth did eventually come out um I found out some things that in that video that I was even shocked but I didn't know that Ancestry would update itself so yeah I, my DNA results has ch changed a lot <laughs> but that's another video um but yeah I, I, I found out um, granted my genealogy but I also something that I had thought about it but I really wasn't like too much into it um at that time was finding out about you know the, the relatives and stuff that I had never met before I didn't know granted in my family I've heard so much stuff about relatives that I've had that are notable entertainers um but I really wasn't at that time just trying to figure anything about them out. I was just so concerned with my, you know, what am I? Am I Nigerian? Am I Ugandan? You know, what am I? So I found that stuff out. And now, like I just said, it has updated. So now I know even more. But I never would have thought I would get an early birthday gift which was a phenomenal gift and I thank the heavens above for it. Long story short guys, I'm trying to make this a quick one. Um, last week sometime I was contacted over IG. I was contacted over Instagram by a notable comedian in the entertainment industry. His name is Adrian Smith also known as by stage name a train and I was like okay this guy here okay what does he want nevertheless this the message he sent me on Instagram it read it says hi Kaniswa my name is Adrian also known as comedian a train ancestry DNA has us as first cousins so I was trying to connect with you please give me a call and he put his phone number down okay so I was like okay I'm gonna call him I'm gonna call him and see what all this is all about because like I say I didn't think about the just connecting with people I was just so curious about what am I <laughs> that was where my curiosity was and I just, I sat there, I'm like, okay, so I called him up. Now, keep in mind, it's at nighttime when I called him. I'm like, okay, he's probably asleep. 
I'm calling somebody's house, <laughs> phone, cell phone, I don't know, late. And, but he's probably asleep. So, I called him. And he picked up the phone. And even to my surprise, he he lives in Atlanta, but he still got that Jacksonville, Florida 904 area code on his phone number. So I was like, okay. So he got on the phone and he uh, talked to me. I had my phone on speaker so I could hear it. My mother could hear it. And he was just saying how for a long time he uh, wondered about his dad's side of the family. And I was just like, okay, no problem with reaching out. And when I went back through my Ancestry.com account, I seen, oh, it says we're, I think, first, second cousins or whatever. I was like, okay, cool. Maybe this is another cousin. You know, my in my mind, in my head, okay, ancestry, y'all, right on it. This is a cousin. And me knowing that my dad's side of the family, which are the Finneys, they, it's a lot of us. It is a lot of us. It's so many of us. It's crazy. Um, I think my my grandmother which is my father's mother i think she had she had over she had over 15 children so there's a lot of grandkids there's a lot of great grandkids it's just a lot <laughs> so i'm just thinking okay well he's a cousin he's been following along with the rest of us you know and when i finally saw a good picture of him i was like Oh my god. Yep. He's definitely a finny. He is a finny, honey. Okay? He's a finny. He, if you're part of the finny family, which is, you know, my dad's family, we all just have a certain look. <laughs> and if you wonder what that certain look is, if you look at me, that's kind of like the certain look. <laughs> it's the best way I can explain it. But I'm looking at Asia and I'm like, yep, he's a Finny. He, he's related. So my mother, like I said, I have a phone on speaker. My mother was sit sitting there and my mother snatches the phone from me. And I'm like, excuse you? <laughs> and my mother said, Send me a picture of you. My mother said she wanted to see what he looked like. So he sent a picture. The picture he sent was a picture of him as a child and me from when I went to American Idol when I was 16 years old. He put those pictures side by side when I tell you me and him look just alike. Okay. 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 So my mother saw that photo. And then my mother saw a more recent picture of him. And my mother said, baby, look no further. We your family. Okay. And so I was like, and I looked at him and I was like, yeah, he, he does. He look he looks like a true Finny man. The Finny, the Finny's, yes, but the, the Finny man, he he's true, he's truly a Finny. So when I looked at Adrian even more, I was just like, whoa. Not only does he look like me, but certain like facial facial what do you call it facial features he has are very similar to my dad's. And I said, "You got a mole literally right by your eye." My dad has that same mole right by his eye, like. And I'm looking at him and I'm like, he, he, yeah, he looks like me, but I can see my dad in, in this man. Like, I can see, honey, I can see Leroy Finney, Michael Leroy Finney in Adrian Smith. I can see it. So, nevertheless, um, me and my mother, we linked him up with my aunt, Gardenia. Now, in my opinion, my Aunt Gardenia is like the family's, what can I call it? What's the word? 
I think it's the word is historian. Like she knows everything history wise about our family. I even learned as uh, <laughs> I even learned along with Adrian that my grandfather, which is my dad's father, was the first African American to have a contracting job with Walt Disney World. I didn't know that he stuckled the Walt Disney I'm sorry, the Cinderella Castle inside of Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. So when y'all go into Walt Disney World, you see the Cinderella Castle is blue. All of that blue stucco that's on the side of it. My grandfather was the first African American to have that contract with Walt Disney World, but to go and stucco that entire castle. I didn't know that. So that's kind of one reason why I will say I do like talking to my Aunt Gardenia because she, she be on it. She be on it. She can tell you things. She knows stuff. She like, yeah, she, she knows. Like she be, she knows a lot of stuff. And I'm just curious as to what else she know that she ain't told me bad. <laughs> she said nothing bad. I really want to know. Like she knows a lot of things. And um that that was just like mind blowing to me because anytime people go to Walt Disney World, you always think about, you know, the Disney princesses, Cinderella being one of the biggest ones and being down there in Disney World, seeing that castle, they always put it on television. And to know my grandfather, just he stuckled that entire castle. Like, that's amazing. And I'm proud. I'm very, very proud. I was like, whoa. But so that was new for me. <laughs> um, so she just filled Adrian in on a lot of stuff. And hey, I, like I said, I learned something new as well. And then she gave him information on our other family members that I think they live in South Georgia and they have like this farm and has all of this land all of the cows and, and farm animals and, and sheep like Adrian went up to South Georgia and he went out there met those family members he took his phone and he filmed so beautiful Farm life, beautiful. The land, beautiful. I had never seen this farm ever in my life, but my aunt, Gardenia, she's, like I said, she's the, she's the historian of the family. She knows everything. Um, <laughs> and she just told him about it. He went and he filmed it. He met the family. He filmed their interactions. It was crazy. It was, it was, it was beautiful. Um, he came back down to Jacksonville, Florida. Um... And he met with some more other family members that my aunt Gardenia had told him about and stuff like that. And when they say that, that when they saw uh, uh, Adrian, they was just like, that's family. Then Adrian finally uh, got linked up with my, my father. Who for the first what, day, first day, maybe first two days... Adrian thought was his uncle. Adrian met my father. And Adrian, um, Adrian met my father. They sat down, they talked. Adrian showed him pictures of his mother, told him his mother's name, the, the whole bit. And come to find out, my dad remembered his mother from way back in the day. Come to find out, my dad stated that Adrian's mother never told him about Adrian. So basically, once my dad got on the phone with me the following day and was talking to me, we were talking privately. Adrian didn't hear this conversation, but he was like, that's my son. And I'm looking and I'm thinking like, I'm, I'm like... Adrian has a mole that's like right on the side of his face. It's like right by his eye. 
my dad has that same mole. Adrian and my dad are the same complexion. Their mannerisms are the same. Um, they just, you know. The, the, <laughs> I can see when I see Adrian I, I, I can definitely see my dad and I have other brothers um, my dad has five sons and out of all of his sons I see more of, of my dad in Adrian than I do my other brothers it's crazy and I was like my dad I heard my dad say that's my son I was like, hey, it is what it is. I got another sibling. I got another sibling and, and I'm happy to have this, this, this new sibling. And I'm just like, this was an amazing birthday gift from the heavens above. Um, Adrian, a couple days later, uh, wrote me on Instagram and he stated that he always wanted a little sister. Now, for those of y'all who don't really know, on my mother's side of the family, I have my oldest brother, my oldest sister, and then my middle sister and myself, we have the same mother, same father. So that means my mother had a total of four kids. On my father's side of the family, I have five brothers and two sisters. So now, add Adrian into the mix. That's six brothers <laughs> and two sisters. So, like, I just, like, I have another sibling. And I'm the youngest on both sides. So, yeah, I, I got another brother. And this, you know, I was, yeah. I was, like, so in my mind, in my head, what was running through my mind at that time was, yes, I have another sibling. I can't wait to get to know him. I can't wait to get to meet him in the flesh, in person, because I haven't met him in, in person yet. Um, I talked to him over the phone, talked to him over Instagram, everything, you know. And I, I, I cannot wait to build this bond, this big brother big brother sister i'm sorry this big brother little sister bond with with him I, I i welcome him with open arms and i cannot wait to build this brother sister bond with with this sibling that lived at one point in time in the next apartment complex over from me you know and while at the same time I was, you know, thinking those things and feeling those emotions, I was also very happy for Adrian because I was blessed to have known who my mother was and who my father was. I was blessed to to be able to pick up the phone and call my dad when I was young coming up. Um, Adrian, he didn't have his dad his or his biological father. You know, so I was very happy for him, and I still am. I want him and my dad to build a very tight and strong bond. I want them, you know, I want them to be able to, you know, have that father son relationship. I want their bond to get tighter. I, I want just I want them, them to really have a solid relationship. You know, I can't imagine just like going 40 something years and don't know your your parents. So in that sense, I am blessed. And I thank the heavens above so much for that. You know, I, I know who my both of my parents are, my mother and my father. Um, you know, Adrian didn't have that coming up. So yeah, that, that was, that's crazy. I, I just, I, I can't imagine not yeah, I, I, I can't. But, you know, like I say, I, I want him and my dad to develop a very strong, tight-knit bond and relationship. So, my message to you, Adrian, is this. 
yes, I'm your little sister. And you did tell me over Instagram that you always wanted a little sister. So, crazy thing, you got one. <laughs> and I am excited to bond with you. I want to get to know you. I want you to get to know me. I, I, I cannot wait. Because we have not met in person. We've talked over the phone. We've talked over Instagram. So I cannot wait for you to come back down here to the Orlando area. And we can just hang out and just have that big brother, big sister bonding time. I'm excited to get to know you. And as being my big brother, I love you. I'm praying for you. I welcome you. And I got your back. So y'all see my big brother Adrian, you know coming through, you know what I'm saying, don't, don't try nothing, cause you, you might get, you know, little sis gonna have to come through and put them paws up on you, you know what I'm saying, so, guys, that is my amazing birthday gift, God sent me a big brother, another big brother, he sent me a big brother for my birthday, and, yes, <laughs> encourage now to all my viewers out there if y'all have not done ancestry if y'all have not done you want to know your genealogy if you want to find relatives you don't know I do encourage everybody out there go to ancestry.com uh, send out for your your ancestry kit send your saliva samples in find out find out everything that you can find out I will say this when I was in school coming up outside of music I used to love history I used to love history so I encourage everybody and especially my generation the Millennials go out and find out your your heritage your lineage find out everything you can find out you know Especially for um, the people in my community, the African American community. Y'all know it's a lot of stuff that our ancestors were stripped of. Our, our original culture, cultural foods, cultural language, languages. You know, it's so much that we don't know as being African American. So I definitely really do encourage everybody everybody but especially the people in the african-american community go out research find out about your history find out about your lineage find out where you come from find out everything there is to find out if you want to find that long lost uncle cousin sister uh mother father i don't care what it is find out because there's so much technology out here that can help you find somebody can help you link people can help you it's just so much out here and go for it I'm, I'm all for it I'm all for it and I want to say thank you also to ancestry.com for linking this and you know thank you <laughs> thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so yeah, guys, that that's my amazing birthday gift that I got. I got a, I got a big brother for my birthday. That's crazy, but I got one, and I am the happiest girl in the world on my 29th birthday. <laughs> so, thanks to everybody, all of my supporters, all of my subscribers, my fans, my thank you guys, and. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Kaniswa. Bye, guys.